What is going on YouTube? So in today's episode, what I'm gonna do is pretty much take apart a PS4 Pro, put on some new thermal paste on there, put some new thermal pads and kind of check the performance before and after on how it makes an impact on cooling. A lot of you guys saw my last video on cleaning out the fan and it did make a pretty big difference for most people, but for some of you guys who are still experiencing hot temperatures because of the way your system may be positioned or just where it is located, that can make a pretty big difference. So I've got a couple good things here to show you guys. So as you guys can see behind me, I've got the PlayStation 4 Pro hooked up to my monitor and it's been there for the last hour. And just looking at a quick temp check, it's floating anywhere between 125 to 130 degrees at this point, just sitting in the main menu, being powered on for a little over an hour now. So what we're gonna do real quick is pretty much disassemble the entire system, get down to the motherboard, clean out the heatsink, change the thermal pads on the VRAM, and change out the thermal paste on top of the processor, or the APU. So let's get into it right after this. Whenever you're working on any kind of systems and unboxing stuff, a good rule of thumb is to make sure that you're not doing it in a carpeted area and you try to use a solid, you know, sturdy type of surface as possible. In this case, I'm just using the same table um, in my studio to go ahead and perform this. But we're gonna start off with disassembling the system, getting down to the heat sink, cleaning that all out, changing out the thermal paste, and eventually putting it all back together and running some tests. So a couple things first, what are the tools that we're gonna use for this? So you're gonna need a pair of scissors, and you're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver, okay? And you're gonna need a T8 Torx security screwdriver, okay? And of course, you're gonna need a pair of tweezers. Now those are just the tools you need to disassemble it. Here's what we're gonna be using. This is Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut or Cryonaut. I don't know if I pronounce that right, but this is essentially thermal paste that I'm going to be applying. This is the best quality thermal paste that you can buy in the market today. It's about 30 bucks just for a 3 ml application of this. Okay, so it's pretty expensive, but we're going to see the results of this, and I think this is by far the best one that you can buy. On top of changing out the paste, we're also changing out the thermal pads. And so again, I went with Thermal Grizzly to get the thermal pads. Now keep in mind that the thickness of the thermal pads do matter and you gotta make sure that they're only one millimeter thick like this one is. All right, so first things first, what we wanna do is we wanna take off the hard drive bay, okay? So mine is still with the original one. You're just gonna pop this out. You can go ahead and get rid of this little blue sticker. We don't need this, okay? And I'm just gonna take this out. Be gentle with it. Don't pull and tug on anything, otherwise you can break it. Now, there's plenty of guides out there on YouTube showing how to go ahead and disassemble. So I'm not gonna go into super detail, but I will flag the things that I think are important you gotta be careful for, All right? So what we just did was just remove one Phillips screwdriver and keep a neat area somewhere on your side where you can put them without losing them. Keep your tools there. Now we're ready to just pop out the hard drive, which you just literally put two fingers like this and just pull, and boom, it comes out. So for those of you guys who are ever curious how to switch out your SSD, or sorry, put in an SSD or switch out anything, that's how you do it. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. We're gonna go ahead and set that aside. Now here is that security screw that I was talking about. Um, again, I apologize for the camera angles on this. I don't really have a setup that allows me to do things really clearly in situations like this, but we'll make it work. All right, so we've got one bad boy out. That around. Now to access the other two, they're actually under the warranty stickers here. Now, like I said, you're gonna be voiding your warranty. Mine is already over a year old and is no longer in warranty at this point. And this is gonna be my test subject anyways at this point. So I'm okay to go ahead. If you look at it here, I'm gonna try and bring it up close to you guys. But these are the two warranty stickers that we're gonna get rid of. So
Okay, so now that we've put everything back together, we've put on the new thermal pads, we put on the new thermal paste as well. Let's go ahead and plug this all in and see how the performance actually comes out. I'm excited to see, so I'll see you guys after an hour. That's how long I'm gonna let it run on the God of War, either continue screen or on the map screen, just to see, cause that's where it has unlocked frame rates and puts the most stress on the system. So let's see how that comes out. All right, so the results are in. One and a half hour later, I'm only seeing a maximum temperature of about 120 to 124. Granted, that's not super far away from 130, but it never even once touched 130 throughout the entire time, which means that this was very successful. And keep in mind, like we were pushing the system to its max, right? Like leaving it at an unlocked frame rate screen. So, and it was sitting there for a long time. So I expect with doing more further testing with this later on down the road, that it's gonna be very quiet now. It's not gonna make that much noise. Again, like I have the older fan, it's the, what's the word? It's, it's not the Nidec one, I believe it's a Delta one. So yeah, so my system has the Delta fan set in it. It doesn't have the Nidec fan, which is also why it's gonna make a little more noise when it does start to heat up. But I know that the new thermal paste that was applied and the new thermal pads that I put in there are gonna do a good job at dissipating the heat and making sure the system stays as cool as it possibly can with that fan. So this isn't necessarily gonna make your fan nose go away entirely because that's just how the fan sounds when it runs hot. But what it's gonna do is prevent it from kicking in and prevent it from running loud because it's gonna dissipate the heat much better. So I hope this was helpful for you guys if this was easy to follow along and if you guys did see a difference like I did let me know in the comments below if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up if not give it a thumbs down and as usual I will see you guys on my next video peace out